Hey everyone, this is Neil from the Solution Engineering team, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the Monday Dev product. A short disclaimer before we start is that this is more of a serving suggestion from the Monday team. Things over here, as the product evolves and restructured, uh, might look or uh, a bit different or be laid out or centralized in different uh, folders, for example, a bit differently from what you're seeing in this video. But essentially, the functionality should be supported all the way, even if it's structured a bit differently, and features might also be added in the future. So just keep that in mind. Um, this, as well as any customization that your team might need, can be adopted and implemented using our um, so, uh, implementation consulting team throughout the onboarding phase. So even if there's a specific flow or a specific board that we go over and you say, hey, this is not exactly how my team works, we can adjust and tweak and customize the flow, the boards and everything in between to adapt to the way that you guys prefer to work. But as I said before, this is a serving suggestion that might fit most of our prospects and clients. So before we dive in and start, I wanna go over the uh, layout of what we're seeing over here. So I've centralized it in a few specific folders. I have my leadership folder. This will consist um, my quarterly goals. I have a product folder that might consist my roadmap, competitive analysis, feature requests, and feature releases. After that, we have the R&D folder that is dedicated to the scrum teams or the, uh, the development teams in general. Over here, I have a dashboard that centralizes information and data from all my development teams to be able to track sprints, ongoing incidents, bugs, and so on. And I have dedicated subfolders for my different teams. I have Team Jane and Team Uria, and we'll see they're pretty much similar, but we'll focus on Team Jane mostly. And we'll touch on templates just real quick to see where they can fit inside of our workflow. So. We'll focus on those uh, in the upcoming videos and I've um, simulated them inside of our mirror chart over here. So we can see that we have our leadership section, product section, and R&D section. And as you can see, we have cross, uh, cross section flow. So things that we initiate in our leadership queue goals or OKRs can create and, and, and be connected to our product roadmap. This is uh, inside of the section that is maybe dedicated to the product team. But we can still communicate between any level of the hierarchy in the flow. Just like that, we also have feature requests that might influence or feed the product roadmap, as well as competitive analysis and feature releases that maybe the product team might want to release to internally inside of the company or externally to other customers. Um, and we also are connecting the product roadmap to our day-to-day -day work inside of the R&D teams, right? So the PMs might create a story, user stories or tasks inside of each team's section. So inside of the R&D section, as we said, we have, in our case, two different development teams. It can be as many as you guys need. We have team A and team B. They would look kind of similar, but then they would consist of stories that might be created by the uh, product team, as we mentioned, together with the team lead. And then those will be broken down into tasks that are gonna be managed in sprints or in a Kanban view, if your team prefers that. We have a connection to a metadata board, we'll touch on that. And then we have our retrospectives uh, board that is uh, somehow connected to the sprints, right? So every sprint has its retrospectives. And then we also are managing a bug queue. And all of those teams are pushing or feeding data into our cross-team dashboard, as we mentioned a few minutes ago. So we'll talk about dashboards and how we can aggregate information from all across the platform, from different uh, boards, workspaces, whatever that may be. We can consolidate information into one specific place to slice and dice the information and play with the data so we can have some more insights into our day-to-day -day work. So let's get started.